Today's freaky expert is heavy metal loving marine biologist, the Glowfish. This man of action loves nothing more than getting up close and personal with nature's most remarkable creatures. He's such a fan of wildlife that he's even named after a fish. But who will he choose as his freak of nature? I love that you walked in anyway. It's blowfish time. It certainly is. It's blowfish yeah. time. Yeah! Blowfish! You know we love it. <laughs> Hi, guys. The blowfish here. My passion is venomous animals. These creatures live or die in a world where chemical warfare is rife. Some are very pretty, some are but ugly, but all of them pack one hell of a punch. And I'm joined by Blowfish, or The Blowfish, the Blowfish. who's a heavy metal marine biologist. That's a title. <laughs> now, why are you called The Blowfish? Oh, it was just a name I picked up at university. One of the lads in the surf club had a look at my little beard, my little round head, and he said, you look like a blowfish, and kind of stuck. And let's have a look. He likes you. Let's have a look at there. Look at there that. You, you do look just like Uncanny, a blowfish. Uncanny, mate. <laughs> wow. Now, this is a rainbow boa. Tell me a little bit about it. Why is it called a rainbow boa? Well, as you can see, they've got this wonderful pattern that helps with camouflage. But they've also got this beautiful iridescent shine. Now that comes from microscopic ridges on the scales that make it all rainbow coloured. It's wonderful stuff. And as you can see, she's really calm and really easy to handle. That's why we've got her out today, as opposed to something like, say, an anaconda. This brilliant beastie is a chili rose tarantula. And the clues in the name, they come from Chile. Now they can get up to five inches across. It's pretty big. As you can see, they're nice and hairy as well, just like me. The way that she hunts is she waits for something to come within that sort of token strike distance. And then, just like a footballer, she skins them and beats them for pace, barrels them over and fangs them. That envenomation shuts the body down, totally paralyzes it, and then starts to digest the hapless victim from the inside out. Wow, what are they? There's loads of them. They, my mum. They are plumose anemones, and the reason why there's loads of them is they've got a really crazy way of reproducing. Their basal disc, that's like the muscular foot that sticks onto the pontoon, if that gets ripped or torn, perhaps the anemones move somewhere else, or a strong current's come along and nearly pulled him off, even the smallest piece of flesh can grow again into a brand new anemone. In fact, there's a good chance that all the lads down there came from one single original. Wow. Yeah, have another look. Go on. Soak it in. Soak it in. So, um, why are they all, like, sort of furry on the end? <laughs> furry? Or whatever that is. Furry? Yeah. To the extent of your biological knowledge. Yeah, pretty much. Well, that furry, those are their tentacles. And for an animal like this that has no recognised brain, they can be actually very clever. A strong current could easily pull one of these guys off the moorings if they've got all their tentacles out. They'll just get dragged off. So they know how much tentacle they can afford to have out in the current, while at the same time still feeding. Pretty clever, mate. What are you going to pitch to us? Well, with the star nose multi beat, I've gone for the weirdest head in the animal kingdom. Or should I say the ocean kingdom? It's the barrel eye! Uh -oh. Uh oh It's business! Get in there! OK, let's get 60 seconds on the clock, because it is time to... Break, break us out! out. Right, OK, uh, the barrel eye. The reason why I've picked him is because he's got that weird see-through head. Don't believe me? Just check out the footage. Now, this guy, he's got that jelly dome protecting those big green eyes. It's a bit like the cockpit on a fighter jet. And he likes to live deep down in the ocean where it's very dark, so use those sensitive eyes to pick up food before he nails it. But otherwise, <laughs> he spends most of his time chilling out, not doing much, looking freaky, like it, like it. But the reason why he's got that protect protective dome is he's a bit of a thief. Oh. oh, yeah, he likes to steal food from the tentacles of stinging jellyfish. Naughty. So, it's like having your own diver's mask, but strapped onto <laughs> the top of your head. Now, when he goes into the jelly, you see, they can't get the tentacles into the eyes. So he can take his food, do one, and he's absolutely winner. But although he's been known to science for over 70 years, <laughs> they've only now just been able to prove he's got this weird dome because they sent down a big robot camera and filmed him live and intact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 but he could have kept going.